Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. Today's all about the rare classics. These vehicles built to A class and they're going to be tackling a series of, well, street circuits. I would say tarmac races, that was the plan. I might have slightly forgotten that it was going to be winter uh, when we came to film this. So they're going to be street circuits. Some of them might have snow on, which is why my Mercedes is a little bit, well, I'd say a little different to planned. Uh, I'm on snow tyres, because while here the snow tyres will not be much of an advantage unless you go off the circuit, there are some tracks that are covered in snow. I have a V8 in this, swamped, it's also all-wheel drive, it's quite, I'm hoping, quite mad and quite fast. The idea behind it was to go along the lines of my Bentley. It was very, very quick in B-Class. I very much like my Bentley. And the hope was that this could be similar, a similar style of vehicle. That's a very sideways Porsche that is not going to be able to hold on to that position uh, through there. So I'm up against a Mura. I mean, I've got so much, <laughs> so much straight line speed uh, almost compared to the Mura. I am pretty much all acceleration in the Mercedes. Top end is pretty garbage because the aerodynamics are terrible on this car. It gets about 140 and runs out of acceleration which in A-Class isn't too bad, and you won't use it all that much. Uh, I'm hoping... My tyre size is also piddly. I think the 195s in this. I think the 195s all round, if I remember correctly, uh, which is not particularly large tyres. Um, so my handling isn't the best. We're, we're relying on pure acceleration in the in the Merc. Uh, may or may not work out. I don't know if it'll work around this circuit. It will probably work around some. It will probably not work around others. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so far, though, it's looking pretty good. I know how good a Mira is. As an A-Class car, the Lamborghini Mira is fantastic. It's been one of my go-to vehicles for many Forza games. Uh, incredibly, incredibly quick cars they can be. Uh, so I've got to worry about that. We have, though, helpfully got a teammate uh, with us up here. I'll actually stuff that corner up a little bit. Uh, we've got a Maserati, which I will not fight. We've got an Alfa Romeo actually doing quite nicely in this as well. Uh, Maserati, I hope, kind of hoping Maserati would be gone. I don't want to fight with my teammate, but we also don't want to lose time and risk letting the Lambo pass uh, while fighting with our teammate or dropping back. It's actually now currently looking... Oh, got a bit wide there. It's looking... The well, blue team have got the advantage. It's close, though. If our Alpha can get some more points, it can swing quite quickly. Looks like the Alpha's got much straight-line speed, but little in the way of handling. Oh, that's two wheels through the first corner. That's not what you want. I don't know where the Mercedes is. Uh, with two wheels around most of these corners, that's a little scary. Uh, uh, this is apparently rollier than I was thinking it was going to be. And it's now swung back the way of blue team. You know what, Maserati, you can go. I've not got the turn in for that particular corner. We will not argue with the Maserati around the bits that which Maserati is faster. Uh, let that go. Let that stay out of trouble. Oh, we need some points further back. We need some points further back. We only need one positional gain further back, but we have a 1-2 here for the vehicles, for, for us to be able to claim a victory here. But, you know, that Alphas are bloody quick. <laughs> we got another GTA giving us some grip. I think I can outrun the GTA down the straights, so it might not be able to give us enough trouble here. And we are catching. This is the speed. The speed of the Merc is impressive to say the least, but the grip is not there. We just have to defend. I'll have to make a very wide Mercedes on this final lap. Not let that Alpha pass. Oh, this case close in terms of the points, but can we score enough points to uh, to make it work? Because it's, it's going to come down to, well, stuff outside of my control in all of this. We're doing what we need to. We've not held up our teammate anymore. They are running free. We will fend off. Ah, oh, it looks like Stallion might have got his alpha up to fourth. If that can hold on against the Mura, that would be very, very helpful. I've got to hold on against the green alpha Romeo. Uh, let the Maserati... Let's say let the Maserati. The Maserati will take victory. Little I could do to fight that one. Oh, Stallion was very sideways. If that alpha can outrun the Lamborghini to outrun whatever the hell it's racing against... Uh, we might still... Oh, we might stand a chance because Ewan's got a place further back. Oh, the Lamborghini missed a checkpoint, I think. That's dropped a very long way back. I've got one more lap. Why do I think that's the final lap? I don't know. We've got one more lap to go to fend off uh, the attacks of the GT... Whoa, the 
ATAs. I was going to go a little wide through all of that. I can just about get away with keeping my power down through there. We're going to... Oh, it's going to have a big dive up the inside. A long way off the circuit. That does make it work. However, even that might not be enough. I say long way off the circuit. We're on the horizon four. You can put the car wherever the hell you want. Uh, however, Ewan's got up to seven, which is more points for us. Uh, we will probably not be able to go around the outside here. I'm hoping the GTA was going to be slow through the corner. It wasn't. I got it right. I've lost the back end through all of that. Uh, in the end, yeah, we should have defended more aggressively than we did. I'll be quicker, but it won't be enough. Uh, things have gone on further back for Bluetooth. I'm not quite sure. They've managed to get shuffled around a bit in all of that. Uh, we will probably not quite outrun the GTA to the line. It's going to be very close. I think the GTA got us. It was... Very close, though. It's one of the game was going to screw up its finishing orders again, and it didn't. Um, <laughs> that's a hell. Good race. Good race. While I couldn't quite hold on to the second uh, position uh, for that one in the end, it won't matter. A first, third, and fourth is enough. I say first, third, first, third, fourth, and a seventh is enough for us to score the required points to take round number one. So... Race number two heads to the Astmore Heritage Circuit, a track that is covered in snow, if I remember my Horizon 4 circuits correctly. I am down the back. Uh, could the Mercedes, sorry, be good here? Possibly. It seemed to have some decent and okay top end, certainly compared to some of the cars that it is running against. We are all-wheel drive, and we are on snow tyres, and some vehicles are not. There are a few cars in this field that are running on race tyres, which will work for some of the circuits, a portion of the circuits in this. That we will find out fairly quickly um, who's, on the, who's on the rally tyres and who is not as we blast off from the start line. We're up to ninth, which is not too bad for me as we all pop in and out of ghost mode. Here, blue team are all blinking a little bit and causing grief for us. I'm going to uh, stay maybe inside the court. I'm not really sure what's going on there. The Muir is going to get underneath me. I cannot turn well enough to fight with a Lamborghini. I'm not surprised in this, let's be honest here. And the Muir, we know gets big tyres. We know he's a very good handling car. I'm not expecting to be able to fight with that one in the turns. I'm hoping we can fight with it by out dragging it. Uh, just about everywhere around here, although that is uh, it's not as it's not a straightforward pass, that's for sure. Out of the front, uh, Alfa Romeo is trying to keep Blue Team busy, can't do it. And uh, Bentley is very big and very much in the way currently. Now, <laughs> not most Maserati has got through that something. And Bentley has many powers and not very many grips by the looks of it. I'm going to get past the Miura briefly and try and not clatter the back of the Bentley. Uh, Christ. Well, Blue Team have got to the front. However, too many of their vehicles are struggling out here on the snow by the looks of it. Uh, with three cars down at the bottom, that is going to be uh, problematic for them. Can any of us chase down the E-Type that is leading the way? I don't know. <laughs> so we know that E-Types can be very, very quick. Again, they're another vehicle. Like, this class of car, I think, is just full of very, very quick vehicles. Jeez, the GTA is fast around the turns. I mean... Almost all. I can't get the Maserati to work very well. I've tried to build them before, but I can't seem to get that to, to work. I think mine was B class rather than A, but I struggle with that Maserati, but just everything else in here, with a couple of exceptions, are, you know, fast. Fast, good A class cars. The GTAs have been fast in previous fours games. This Mercedes, of course, is new to Horizon 4. Uh, is, I think, pretty damn competitive. It's one of the oldest cars in the field. I don't actually know if this is older than the, than the big Bentley. Uh, either way, it's one of the oldest cars in the field. Uh, the Bentley considerably more leery, shall we say, than... I might say oldest car as well, just about nothing on it is original, uh, considering it's race suspension, engine swap, driveline swap, uh, modern rally tyres, race uh, gearbox and all bits and pieces. It could be swapped out, it has. I guess the chassis is still the original. Um, brakes are, of course, race brakes on this. Because you're going to do that with A-class cars. You're going to be modifying them in such a manner. Uh, red team, we're busy fighting side by side. We don't really need to do this. I think we've got the measure of blue team in terms of this sort of front group. I don't think the GTA and the Muir are quite quick enough around this circuit. The E-Type, more than a match for us, and I don't think we've got a hope in hell of catching that E-Type. 
Uh, but, perhaps more importantly, unless we all fall over one another, which, let's face it, isn't impossible for our team. Uh, <laughs> don't fall over each other, chaps. Uh, let's just uh, hold station, hold station, and see this round, see this round out. Okay, that's what we need to do. Nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing, nothing crazy would be good. Got a couple more laps to go. Yeah, I like the big bends. It works very much along the lines of my <laughs> classic Bentley. Along the lines of the B-Class Bentley. It's pretty good just about everywhere. Maybe lacks a little tiny bit of grip through some of these turns. It's more of an acceleration car. But acceleration cars are good fun to drive. And they're difficult to overtake. I can make this car, if we were under serious pressure, I can make it difficult to overtake. If I don't do a goof. Uh, like I did against the uh, Alpha in the previous round. Yeah, if I don't do a goof, I can make it very difficult to overtake because we park it on the inside and then out-drag anything that tries to get past us on the exit of every corner. It makes life very difficult for a opposing, but in this case an opposing team, but opposing vehicles. Uh, unfortunately, our GTA is slipping back a little bit. Uh, hopefully it can regain the position. If it can't, I mean, it's not the complete end of the world. That isn't the one place that we are relying on here, thankfully. Uh, Longbow's going to draw alongside, and this is what we were talking about. Uh, while I don't, wanna, I don't want to defend so hard as to cause Longbow trouble, um, but again, Longbow can draw alongside, can't get clear, because as soon as we get to that acceleration zone, off goes the Mercedes. It's 550 horsepower I've got in this. Uh, 500, uh, just, just shy of 500 torque, actually, uh, which... You know, with the uh, 6.2 V8, I think I put in this one. Uh, so, yeah, lots of power, lots of torque. In a vehicle, it's 2,800 pounds. So, it's pretty good power-to-weight ratio. Uh, unfortunately, our GTA has slipped down to a sixth place. It's going to be close in points again, this one. And I am having to worry... I say I have to worry a little bit about Longbow. I think Longbow might try around the outside here. I don't know if that Maserati... It's got a lot of grip. Has it got enough grip to make that work in the snow? The answer is no. Good effort. Very, very good effort. Our GTO was trying to go around the outside of the Mura in the background, which I don't think... Oh, it might have done it. I think our GTA might have managed to beat the Lamborghini uh, <laughs> to the finish line. That was a brave place around the outside. It did. Our, our GTA got around the outside to claim a fifth place. We will take victory in points. Not a victory in the race, though. The E-Type, uh, that was well, faster than all of us. I had a good fight with Longbow uh, <laughs> over the second place for honours of uh, of Red's team. Anyway, but yeah, none of us a match for the E-Type, but overall, we take our second victory here. So this could potentially be the final round. But that does, of course, rely on us taking a victory here. Um, I don't know what we're going to see. In terms of because the E-Type starting on pole for blue team, which isn't particularly helpful. GTAs might be quick again. This is a nasty circuit to build. Generally a nasty circuit to build cars for, if I'm honest. Uh, it's fast. Yes, it's probably one of the fastest circuits in the game. But I wouldn't say this was a straight line speed track necessarily. You can have immense amounts of straight line speed. That is very good. But... There's a lot of high-speed corners. You want high-speed grip around here. You want to have confidence in the car to throw it through these high-speed corners. Uh, but yeah, you do need to still be able to get up to a decent amount of speed. I think the E-Type might be the one to well, the one to beat around here. Could be wrong. However, uh, we don't really know how some of the cars are going to perform. I would expect my Mercedes to be, again, pretty consistent. It's been decent at most tracks so far. I would expect it to work here. Oh, although that's a little bit too much understeer. And that is one of the places you've got to watch out for. Uh, if you end up through the fence there, you can lose a heap of... Oh, I've got to give some space to that. Uh, you can lose a lot of time clonking through the fence, which is not so good. The Cobra seems to be having issues. We've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of a butt sniff from behind. Oh, and oh, one of the blue team cars, I think, missed a checkpoint. That is another fear that we have at this circuit. Missing checkpoints is something that is very easily done and very common around this particular circuit. We're going to lose out to Longbow. See, the Maserati's got immense, immense grip. It will not have the speed down here. 
Uh, I wouldn't have thought, although it can carry so much, like it can carry so much momentum. Oh, here goes Blue's team's E-Type, which is going to get boxed in by us. There's some cunning teamwork right there from Red Team. Oh, uh, Bentley had a very, very big crash. No, Bentley had a big crash, took out a Maserati. Thankfully, it managed, I say thankfully, it managed to take out all the whole field of cars in clipping a wall and going across the track. You probably shouldn't say thankfully, but it's it's hindered everyone equally, uh, which is something, at least. Blue Team have got a car to the front. Their E-Type is leading the way. Our GTA is trying to cling on in second. GTA is not plug on in second at the moment. So I could do with scoring some more points here. Uh, I could do with... Ooh, we've lost a crap ton of points. Uh, we need a good performance from Mercedes. And I didn't have a good start to the race. Sadly, I don't think me getting past the Cobra gives us enough. We need more cars up here fighting. We need a lot more cars. In fact, I've seen our GTA has fallen a bit too far back to be doing anything. Uh, can we get our Maserati back up into the fray? Uh, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know if we can here. Um, we're stuck in a little bit of no man's land at the moment. What are the... Mm, we need a good couple more cars making their way up. I mean, Blue Team's E-Type and uh, GTR are down the bottom. They may well make their way forward a little bit through the pack as well if they haven't lost too much time early on. Cobra's very, very fast down this straight. Uh, not as good in the turns. However, I can't utilise... I'm not that great in the turns either. And my all-wheel drive... My all-wheel drive advantage is useless here. The fact that I've got all-wheel drive and rally tyres does not mean very much around this circuit. There's only one really slow speed acceleration zone if you ignore the start. And, I mean, that's not even not there. It's not really even that much of a slow... I guess there's another slightly slower speed section coming up on the exit uh, that we get out here towards, like, the little chicane part. It's about the only other place where traction might be an issue for some cars, but it doesn't really look like anybody's having that much of an issue with traction. Uh, yeah, here is again, is another slightly slower speed section, but it's not enough. I have a horrible feeling we are going to be stuck sat here watching uh, potentially watching our GTA. Oh, there's a big slide for the Cobra. It's not what the car would have wanted. Yeah, we're losing. We're, we're hemorrhaging points at the moment. And I don't think there's much we can do. It does look like we might have the better cars for the snowy conditions, for the snowy circuits, if you will. But out on this particular track, I'm not sure we've really got the uh, we've got the pace. I don't think we can score enough points. Uh, again, I don't think the E type's got me got me beat around here. I might might be able to give the Lamborghini a, a run for its money. I mean, all of us here are kind of very similar lap times it seems. No one's really making much ground. I think I'm getting a little on the Lamborghini because I'm now seeing it uh, in the distance. I don't think the GTA might be slightly faster. Uh, we would need... Oh, someone kicked up a fence. Was that the Alpha? Oh, it was. Bugger. <laughs> it's, the, it's not what we needed at all. In fact, the Lamborghini's now buggered off at a very good first sector, so who knows really. It's one of those tantalising races that's very close to being very close to being an epic wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle. Just isn't quite there yet. I've been brave through that section. We were running a lot. Well, we were, haven't really got much to lose if I end up missing a checkpoint. It's not like we're going to lose this round any harder than we already... Well, we can lose it a bit more, but it won't matter anymore. Just go for it. Uh, for for honour and all that sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> Fat Lamborghini's got to the lead now at the front of the race, so... Oh, no. I'm uh, talking nonsense, apparently. Just about to see them off in the distance. See, Cobra has got a higher top speed than me. Can we be brave through this first section? Uh, we, I mean, we can be brave, we can be fast. We'll gain a little bit on that. The Cobra gets in the battle with the GTA. I'd take it. Uh, I'd, I'd take the opportunity, although we don't want a blue team getting uh, all the podium. We need at least one red car on the podium for our honour and everything. Uh, the Maserati is, I think, catching back up. I don't know whether that was maybe a missed checkpoint or just ran a little wide somewhere. Uh, we don't hit the fence this time around, which is good. So I'm, too, uh, I'm too far back, even if we have a really, really good section up here. I just, I'm not close enough to be able to realistically have a look, barring a very, very big mistake from the Shelby. We are neat. We are neat. We are tidy. We are composed through all of that. And we're closest that we have been for this entire race. And it will probably be for nothing. Although, you never give up. The Shelby brushed the wall. We've got a good run here, but it's not going to be enough. The power, the power of the Cobra is too much for me. 
It was close. We gave it a scare. Yeah, it is not going to be enough for us. Fair play. It was one of those. We sat, we watched for a long, long period of time. And very little that we could do about it. We kept a red team car on the podium, though. We kept a red team car on the podium. Uh, up in third for the GTA. I get fifth ahead of our Maserati. That track did not work for us in the slightest. Not work for us in the slightest. Blue team, claw one round back. So, we move on next to a street circuit. The Edinburgh Station circuit is snowing as well, which should make life interesting. I have had a minor thought. Uh, this track, quite known for rolling vehicles over. We saw it with the very high grip vans. And, well, my car was going up on two wheels around the, fir around the Edinburgh Coast circuit. There's a small possibility I could end up actually flipping. I would be very surprised considering the tyres and the very small tyre widths that we have and the fact that this car is not, you know, set up to roll specifically, but I guess we'll find out. I might end up having to be careful of the curbs than I was intending on, but I do not know. A nice grid spot for me, a nice grid spot for our Maserati as well, actually. A Maserati will like this track. Acceleration zones, a lot of low speed acceleration zones for me uh, lots of corners though for that Maserati to enjoy and for the GTAs to enjoy they're certainly not sluggish uh, around the turns uh, what are we going to do up here the answer is not a thing don't play with the wall we've had races come undone we've lost team adventures because I've ended up in that wall uh, so we're not going to play with that too much now with the all-wheel drive might come in a little handy oh, an A-class I suspect a lot of these cars that may well be. We're going to outdrive. <laughs> this is the power of the bends. Yeah, it's nice having the acceleration. It's nice having the acceleration. Can't do anything here, but I might be able to get underneath the Alpha for the run across the start-finish line. And indeed, we do. Park it on the apex a little bit through there. Not seeing any chance of rolling so far, which is kind of what matters to me. Points-wise, we're in the lead, but it is only just. If we can get a Maserati past oh, the Alpha Romeo, that would be good. Ping the fence on the outside. Oh, God, there's an E-Type coming to join in the party. That's not what we needed to have here. The Alpha's trying to get underneath, but I don't know if it's going to manage it around there. We could do with some more red team cars getting some points in this one. I might be able to fend off for a little while. I don't know if I can fend off the Jag, though. We've seen how fast that has been so far, so it might be a difficult one to hold off if it uh, gets on the back of us. It seems to outdrag us and outturn us. So let's hope the rest of our team can start scoring some points because as it stands, we have not got enough. As it stands, we have not got enough points and it is change it's changing rapidly. It's changing <laughs> everywhere around this lap. We got lamp posted, uh, which is not what we want. I think Scotty missed that checkpoint. Uh, if you didn't, I have no idea how you made that because that was a mile across the inside. How the hell did the game give that one? Unless you clipped it or was a, I mean, a, maybe a slight bit of lag, but that's that was as far across the inside as I, I'm thinking, right? That was a million miles across on the inside, and now I've been punted into the bloody fence. Oh, this lap's gone to hell. This lap has really, really, really gone to hell. Um, I don't know what I can do anymore uh, with this, but never mind. I guess we'll get back past the Jag. It's not, not going to matter. We could get past the Jag and it'll be irrelevant looking at the points we've got going on at the back, unfortunately for us. Right, three-way drag race down the back straight. Who's got it? Uh, the answer is me, but only sure. Oh, me initially, and then the E-Type. Uh, try and give the E-Type... That's a very brave place to try and hold your car the long way around there. Um, that is a very brave place to hold it the long way around. We gave the E-Type... There was space for an E-Type. Just... There was space for an E-Type, and that was literally all there was space for at that part of the circuit. Uh, so, yeah, I have initial drive on the on the Jag. The Jag has uh, better, I guess, sort of top-end acceleration once you get past about 120. Oh, I wanted to try and get down on... I wanted to try and get down across, and the Mura was sort of the ish alongside. It was a bit iffy uh, through there. We got away with it there again. No real harm done. But oh, the E-Type's gone now for us. Uh, my been better off putting it out to third actually out of all of that yeah i mean it doesn't, it doesn't matter i could win the race and we won't score enough points not with our cars from 10th 11th 12th and this circuit perhaps not so much working for the gta i'm not quite sure 
Uh, the, I think it's Ferrari Daytona is struggling around here. I'm not quite sure why, unless it was a missed checkpoint, which is possible. Uh, it could do with some more... Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we can't have a couple of cars in the top four, and that kind of be our only points. That's never enough to be able to take a round. We had a good start to this adventure. It's going to go down to the wire, it would seem. Uh, oh, dodge the bin. I don't think I want to be hitting that. Chuck that in and all wonky through there. I end up losing out to the near if I'm not careful. I think I can make the big old bends a bit wider uh, and fend off the near. Let's make it difficult through there. <laughs> said, I'm going to defend, I'm going to make it difficult to pass because I know the acceleration in this does make it difficult to pass. And Maserati's almost at the back of the GTA. Uh, oh, we're going to be wide there. Ah, the mirror's probably going to get me. In fact, the Maserati is up on the outside. Uh, we will... <laughs> We will get across and we will make the Mura have to go around the outside if it wants to pass us into the final corner. It can get good momentum. It can't do it though. It will not matter. It won't matter in the long run anyway uh, because we can't score enough points further back. Blue team take victory but only just the Maserati fought that all of the way. Uh, I couldn't hold on to third in the end uh, despite a valiant effort at least. Uh, unfortunately... Yeah, we, we, scored a, we scored a ninth place in the end for the Daytona, but yeah, it's just not enough. Not enough points in the end. Let's hope the snow race works for our, our team's vehicles. Well, either, either this will be a remarkable turnaround for blue team, or a, well, it's going to be a hard-fought victory for whoever ends up taking this one as we head to the Moorhead Wind Farm Circuit. I start on pole for Red Team. Our Bentley uh, behind me. We're alongside the Cobra uh, that I do think is not on snow tires. When I say a, a, a snow event, this is on the snowy tarmac. It's not fully snowy tarmac, though, over here. Uh, it is oh, about 50% snowy tarmac. You have this run down the hill that's not too bad. We know that the game has been very kind with the grid and with the, the launch has kind of worked out quite nicely for Red Team. Uh, yeah, so the initial section here is on just straight up tarmac. It will then kind of transition, if you like, to snowy tarmac for the run back up the hill. It's probably more about 70% snowy tarmac, maybe even a little bit more. Anyway, we'll find out how it's going to bloody work. At the moment, lovely. If we can just finish the race with one lap race, perfect. Well, <laughs> One one lap race, and that will be that'll be us done. We've got a one, two, three, and everyone inside the top seven now. Even it would be remarkable. I think somehow unlikely to stay in this particular uh, particular running order, but you never know. The Bentley's actually put up a good fight around here. The Bentley very very quick. I mean, this is. I guess perhaps a bit of a power track in some ways. While there are still nasty corners to worry about, there's a long hill that you are going to want power climbing up the uh, up the, up the hill. Oh, don't miss the checkpoint. Uh, on that, that's the one particular corner you end up jumping across the inside and you ping that checkpoint. Uh, you can do. I uh, say so you can do. We have seen a number of cars ping that one, miss that one uh, a, a bit when you're trying to be a touch too greedy. Thankfully here, you can if you run wide, you brush the wall and you don't end up uh, missing the checkpoints. Now, the Alpha is catching pretty fast. If the Alpha catches me, I'll let it go. Uh, we are in a situation where we cannot afford... I'd say we can't, we can't afford nothing. We can't afford to lose points. If the Alpha is much faster than me, I'm not going to risk having it backed up into traffic and losing points. In general, in a team adventure, you know, if a, car, if a teammate is much faster than me and uh, we need all the points that we can get, all the guaranteed points we can get, I'm not going to fight it into oblivion. There's no reason. Sometimes for honor you will fight when it doesn't matter which way round you finish for example, but uh, in some of these we need to scrape all the points that we can get. At the moment blue team do seem to be struggling out on this circuit. I'm worried of course about Sinti's pace in the E-type. We know how fast that car is. We've seen how fast it has been so far. That's climbed back up to fifth but it's still a fair way back actually from me. The Cobra's doing fairly well. That might, might be wrong. It might, it might well be on snow tyres. Uh, it seemed to struggle off the line of the previous snow. It wasn't particularly fast here, but uh, who knows on that one. Got a bit better braking down here. Uh, in fact, Stinty is... Uh, Stinty is up to four. He's fighting with our Bentley. It might not be too long until that Bentley ends up losing out to the 
seconds. As Bentley's got all the speed and no grip, I guess it's making it difficult. Bentley is doing fine work if it can fend off Stinty for a couple of laps even. It's just slowed down the march of the E-Type enough to give us half a chance. I know Toto stuff is slipping down the order as well, which is a little bit of a shame. Come on, let's not slip away all of the points we have worked uh, very hard for in this race. It's starting to go a little bit the wrong way for us, but yeah, the, the Blue Team's GTA, Scotty and Clark are languishing a little further down the order uh, than we might have seen before. There goes the Alfa Romeo to the inside. Uh, oh, that struggling has very much struggling to get stopped. Uh, <laughs> the bottom corner. I mean, if you're going to go past, get it done quickly. I don't think we've got the speed to get it done there. Stinty is coming. This is the final lap, though. If that can outdrag me, I will yield for the final corners if it can get past. I don't think it can carry the speed it needs around here, though, to uh, get me on the run to the final corners. Here we go. Last turn. Here we go. Rocks are chucked. The GTA slides up into the wall. Might nearly lose out to the E-Type. It won't in the end. We cling on for a victory in that one. Oh, the points got bloody close by the end. Blue Team clawed that one back on the final the final lap. It really did swing uh, back towards them. However, they couldn't quite claw enough points back. It was very important. Oh, Stinty got second. Oh, that must. Oh, that was. That would be why the nonsense game finish line not counting properly is how the E-Type ended up. It should have been a one-two for Red Team. Regardless, regardless, we claim a victory. It was an only just victory, but we do claim a victory. The Mercedes works very well. Works very well indeed. Not quite every single possible scenario does, is the car perfect at. Does like a little bit of grip for some circuits, but it's a good compromise between corner grip, straight line speed, acceleration. I like it. I like it very much along the lines of my, my B-Class Bentley <laughs> that I love for these sort of events. Um, yeah, it does the job. It does the job very nicely indeed. That, though, shall be it for this video. If you'd like to take part in the next one of these adventures, uh, then you can sign up via our forums. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Find the Faris versus the community section, and you can sign up in there. That, though, shall be it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, a goodbye.